I never thought I would say this with so much confidence, but I am enjoying the living baguette out of the AMX 30 series. They are so in, oh, 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 not, not this one. No, 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 no. Oh, you guys thought I was talking about, oh, that would, okay. No, 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 let's just go over to the right. Sorry, misclick. Yeah, this AMX 30, this is the DCA this thing's outrageous. What you're looking at right now is, in my opinion, for the BR, the best anti-air in the game. First of all, you have really good armor. You have very good mobility, forward and reverse. Look, look at this. At this BR, we will bounce off uh, APHE in conventional rounds. And with this BR, we stay below getting too high tech in the BR spread. And then our turret rounds will go right through that sometimes. Now, other times we'll just explode in one shot, but we do have a chance. We do have some survivability um, to get back in cover and uh, hopefully get away. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Hey, fly, hey, fucked hard. Actually, we can't use it anymore. 2018, the 21st of March, 2018. Oh, if you guys haven't heard, a guy is guilty for uploading a video of his dog and showing everyone a new trick he learned. <sighs> Anywho, we'll use, hey, bubble wrap human thing. There we go. Nice and nice and plain. Why are we doing this? Why are we bringing light to a vehicle that can be abused right now? Well, we have a decent track record. Now, it's not only me, but it's you guys sharing your opinions and feedback to the War Thunder personnel. But the B-57's a 7.7. .7. The Vitor is a 9.0. The P-47 is a 4.0 now. So we, we have changed, not, not my channel, but just the community. When we kind of get annoyed, get frustrated at something, it usually gets changed. <laughs> it gets changed in like a year or two, uh, except this guy. Uh, this, 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 why, 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 why? Now, in my opinion, this vehicle should easily be at 8.0. It has radar. It has guns that can easily kill fast moving aircraft. It has good armor. It has a ton of ammunition. I think double what the Falcon has. And it has smoke and other tools. Oh, just smoke. Uh, that makes this thing um, nice to support other vehicles in the game by popping smoke, uh, drawing smoke lines with your, what's it called? The HSS system. Let's just see it real quick. Oops, sorry. ESS system. Okay. I got it memorized. So there's a lot of tools that this thing has that the, the 7.7 .7 Falcon doesn't. This is easily an 8.0 anti-air in my opinion. The only problem is, is that like the French tanks don't have a good 8.0 lineup. They have no 8.0s to line up. That could be a factor of why it's 7.3, but this thing you're going to see today 
just dominates the battlefield because at 7.3, these guns have 110 millimeters of penetration at, well, zero degrees, 10 meters away. But most of the things that come at you or are side presented, you can kill. And these things ruin the living crap out of Object 906s and RU251 spam. This is my favorite vehicle to play in the game right now. It's absolutely disgusting. But guys, in the comments below, let me hear your feedback. If you agree with 8.0, maybe we can get this thing moved. Now, I was going to say that unlike other 8.0 anti-airs, this one doesn't really have to sit back and, you know, twiddle its thumbs. But on this map, it might have to. We'll try to provide some support, some smoke, some spotting. But this is a pretty heads-up map, so our ability to side shot is kind of already canceled out by how this map's designed, which is fine. I could have taken a different vehicle, etc. So we're going to post up here, let our radar spot us. Uh, to the enemy team. There's a mouse up as well. Uh, you know, I don't need to spot that guy. Everyone knows they're pushing. And that's why I wanted to show you. The radar can be shot off, as you can see there. But it still works. Okay, all right, all right, boys. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm a little, I'm, 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 I'm a, I'm a little tall. I'm a little tall. But as you can see, right, we're still alive. Oh, critical hit. Woohoo! I don't really know what that will do, but look at that. The nice thing is a lot of the ammo for this vehicle is kept in the hole. So even if they shoot turret, uh, most of the times they'll just kill a crew member. Now, if, if they shoot side turret, then they might be able to nick two. And then and then we're toast. You know what? Is that I might try to go push out to this concrete bunker. There's an Austin right over there. Leopard's dead. Okay, we're gonna try to push. Smoke out! Beautiful smoke. And we're in cover. So now we're gonna be able to get side shots if the enemy wants to push up. T-54's got it held down at I hear someone kind of close to me. That's our AMX-30. Whoa. Leo's dead. Now our time to shine. We got a 262 up. 50 mil. These are extremely easy to kill just because how they engage. There he goes. Another one. Okay, clear. We still don't have control of... Fuck, no. We don't have control of Alpha yet. Got another one inbound. Hopefully he's going down. There he goes. Good. He was still able to get the bomb off. God dang, we, we, we kind of failed that, but... At least he's out. At least he's out. Perfect, boys. Perfect. Keep it up. Keep it up. A is being captured. Somebody cover me. Cover me. That movement. It's a Sheridan. Or was it? Jet, 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 jet! No, that's not a jet. Be careful, don't shoot teammates. And we'll open the crap up. They don't last a second! <laughs> it really is unfair. It really is unfair. Okay, we might have some back pushers here. Nothing. They got many more spawns left, and that is a. Ah, let's just hold fire until he gets closer again. Don't want to re reveal our pos our position. Does have a vampy on him though.
Even without radar, this thing shouldn't be 7.3. So fucking rude. This clear in the skies. Making all those spawn points mean nothing. Guys, look how broken radar is. Good, good, good. Push across. Push across. We're waiting for you, Quellian. There you go. Keep keep blowing it. Keep doing it. He just got nailed. We'll poke out. Let me get aside a little bit. Good God, it takes a while. Those little slopes they have on the hole, I think, bounce a lot of these rounds. Two friendlies, IL-28 Meteor coming in. Yeah, this should be the GG. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to use a tactic that uh, is uh, one of my favorite. Reversing uh, the Americans and the British, as well as the Japanese, they're a little slow to get into position, which makes our job much, much easier. Just want to get on a straight line here, and then we'll do it. Sorry, guys, for the noise. Come on, I stopped just in time. I got to cool down. I, I held the trigger down too long. But it should be cooled down once we get into position. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going for alpha. Hold your pants. They're like, they're like, yo, what the fuck? Okay, good. Never mind. He's not doing that. We're going to post up. Um, I think maybe past this church here. I see where I want to go. Right in here. Perfect. Okay, and we hold. Now, if someone comes behind us, we're pretty screwed, but I'm expecting a lot of players to be pushing through here in hopes to get to Charlie and the church position. Interesting. Everyone's focusing on Bravo. Okay, we just killed a T-34 with artillery. Lol. We got two or three guys looking at us. Okay, that was an M50 Antos. We could have just ripped them Reparonis. So scared. I don't blame you guys. I'm I'm freaking lethal. We've got two guys over this direction. Actually, three in total. We've got an M48, M46, and something over to the right. And we can always pop smoke and go back into cover. Oh, that was so juicy right there, but I think our time's done with that. Yep, it is. Our time is done with that. Mm, I want to go back to my safe spot. Okay, never mind. That that guy just ripped the pepperonis. Is that an enemy aircraft? Okay, that was friendly. Good. The M56 just killed an IS6. I think he's right behind this building. Enemy plane up. I think we're going to have two here. Okay, he is... Dead? Backside's clear. Let's go turret. Let's go turret. Tiger 2 just killed, our, killed that M46.
There's still so many more players up right now. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that was brutal. That was so brutal. I knew I heard it. I heard that M82 shot or the heat, whatever one. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing is that this thing would do great at 8.0. I have no idea why it's 7.3. No idea. Okay, we might be able to make moves to... Ooh, there was another one? Jesus, okay. We might be able to make moves to Bravo now. Hmm. Let's check the score. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're starting to fall apart a little bit. Thought I heard someone to, our, to, to my left. Oh, there's a lot of guys over to our right, though. I think, right? Oh, they're right in front of us a little bit. I think our Tiger H might need some help here. Ooh, Type 6 has just killed our BMP. Try and, try and help our Tiger out. Pop some smoke over the house. Perfect. And we have 241 rounds left to deal with the aircraft. Hmm, that doesn't sound like, yeah, that doesn't sound like any of the weapons we have over here right now. Okay, that was a 76 millimeter. Trying to save this tiger as much as possible. He has to be almost done. Okay, we got a new plane inbound. P... Hurricane or something. We're going to hold fire. We got 109 right behind. Let's get Japanese aircraft. Yeah, Key 61 confirmed. What a long ass repair this guy had. Oh, shit. We got one of those T114s. Looked like he was shooting off to the left. I was going to pop my ESS system on him. Oh, no! Come on! He blooded in so well. Uh, good kill. Hit our ammunition. That's the only reason why we died right there. It did go through our fuel. I thought the fuel might have been able to hold up. There's no point for this thing to be at 7.3. The whole argument that there's not a big 8.0, 7.7 lineups, complete horse crap in my opinion. You have the super bias and, you know, looking at the 163, 8.0, the only other 8.0 American tank you can bring out with it is going to be the T95E1. If we go to the Shilkup, it doesn't really have the biggest 8.0 lineup either with uh, the T-62, which is a much better uh, lineup than what the French would have. But still, there's really no reason for this thing to be at 7.3. Let me hear y'all's opinions in the comments below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out.